What's up everyone, welcome back. Today, once again, we're talking about the Jig Head Minnow. It's everywhere you look, it is dominating tournaments. And there's one bait, the Jackal Drift Fry, that is soon gonna be available in America, finally. Let's talk about that bait. Thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate all the new subscribers. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. This is all about the latest and greatest in bass fishing baits and techniques. And right now, that means mid strolling it is everywhere you look you know if you watched any of the bassmaster elite coverage from last weekend it was everywhere fujita won once again and this time he won with the jig head minnow and the jackal drift ride just like he did last year on lake champlain it's a very popular bait right now but it is not available in america jesse wiggins he had a top 10 at the first tournament also at toledo bend for the bass pro tour i mean this style of fishing is everywhere i mean that's how wheeler won the Santee Cooper, forward-facing sonar, jig head minnow, it is everywhere. And one of the most sought after baits is this one right here, the Jackal Drift Fry. Now it's sought after because it's not available in America yet. I've been talking about this bait since September. I was fortunate enough to get some. I just looked at one of my videos from uh, the end of September talking about this is one of my favorite baits. And it is still one of my favorite baits and I'm gonna tell you why. So it's available in two sizes. There's a four inch and then the 5.2 inch. I've caught fish on both of them from up in the Pacific Northwest for smallmouth and deep water to here in Texas and stained and muddy water. It is producing everywhere for me. And it's just a really unique bait. Just like the Depths Sakamata Shad, which was also part of Fujita's winning pattern at Toledo Bend, this bait is designed for the mid strolling technique. Sure, you can use a standard fluke style bait or you know the Crush City Freeloader, it works really good, but the Japanese input on their baits makes their baits roll even more. So what makes this bait unique is it's got that bill on the front. I mean, just like a crankbait or jerkbait, it is really, truly bizarre just looking at it, but it works extremely well. It rolls really, really well, which is a great way to trigger bites for fish that you see, you know, especially if everyone's throwing a regular old fluke, these baits roll incredibly well because of that design on the lip. Everything else in it is designed for this technique as well. It's got a nice flash to it. You could fish it on a standard round head or what I like to fish it on primarily now, now that I've discovered it, is the owner range roller. It helps the bait roll even more. Just fishing it next to the side of the boat, just twitching it, you could see that bait rolling like crazy. And that triggers more bites. For people that are into this style of fishing, you wanna have something very specific for this. I think that is gonna be the biggest trend this year when ICAST comes around in July. There's gonna be so many baits designed to get that action that this bait has and a few others. So this is the four inch. All the colors are in Japanese, so I don't know what they're called. This one I would just say is a shad with some chartreuse on it. It works really good for stained water. Like I said, I've, I've had a lot of success with it here in Texas with this particular color. I'll show you the other one I was using, or a similar one that I was using up in the Northwest for smallmouth. It was kind of more of a trout kokanee pattern. And this is actually the five inch version. So it's a much bigger bait, much bulkier. It's a more aggressive action in my opinion, where the four inch has a more darting action when you twitch it. This, just because it's bigger and bulkier, it's a lot softer too, it seems like. So it has a completely different action, in my opinion, just from fishing it, but they work extremely well. Now, the reason I'm telling you about this is these baits are coming to America very soon. I received word that they will be available in March. So the wait is over. I will post a link to this. I don't know when you're gonna watch this video, but when it's available, I'll put the link below because these are going to sell out fast. You're gonna hear a lot more about this bait. It's already extremely sought after, but once it becomes available, people are gonna be talking about it. Because really the only people that have been fishing it on the pro level, uh, Fujita on the Elite Series and Jesse Wiggins on the Bass Pro Tour, they have been catching fish with it getting top tens with it. So really out of the few that have it, they are performing, obviously they're great anglers as well, but they are making it work for American waters. It's again, the forward facing sonar is not going anywhere. And you're gonna hear a lot about this bait soon. The Jackal Drift Fry. It is a great looking bait. It works. Forward facing sonar is here to stay, whether you like it or not. You know, actually lately, the last few trips, I've kind of taken a, a break from that, the screen time. I have went out and skipped docks and thrown chatter baits and not even turned it on. It's been kind of fun but there is a time and place for this style of fishing. And if you're gonna do it, you wanna have the right baits. And I would say the Jackal Drift Right is definitely one of the best that you can use for this style of fishing. Thanks for watching everyone.